Why do people continue to doubt Tyler Lockett? The last two seasons, wide receiver, <laughs> wide receiver 13 and wide receiver 16. The last two years, right now being drafted as the wide receiver 22. Would you rather have Tyler Lockett or T.Y. Hilton? Lockett. Oof, that's a that's a tough question. I th- they seem similar to me. Oh yeah, they do. But but and, and I I was gonna join in with Jason. I'm like I'm not doubting Tyler Lockett. But when you when you're playing fantasy and looking at the range of outcomes, it is possible that Metcalf becomes the wide receiver one. I'm not projecting that at all. Meanwhile, for T.Y. Hilton, I don't think anyone else on that team you can know, surpass him. And that just almost outlines what happens with Tyler Lockett every – I almost combined them, T.Y. Lockett. Right. Uh, with Tyler Lockett every year, he's he's being drafted as the wide receiver 22. He finished at wide receiver 13 and 16. Yet I bet I could name 21 other wide receivers and have you pick them before Probably. you pick Tyler Lockett. Probably, and that's that should not happen. And part of that – I look, excitement for D.K. Metcalf, no question, but – there's a mind meld there with Russell Wilson and Tyler Lockett the past two years when you need a big play. I think we were coming into last offseason, what, Tyler Lockett was this, the the passer rating, right? Was it a oh, per- yeah, it perfect was, passer rating yes. from Russell Wilson yes, to two Tyler years, Lockett? Two years ago, it was just what he did was not sustainable. I mean, you did a, an AWS commercial with yes. a catch in the back of the end zone that was not possible, but Tyler Lockett pulled it off. And well, that's what I liked about last season for Lockett was he was like, well, that would, what he did wasn't impossible like what he did two years ago. So that's why I'm, I'm far more in on Tyler Lockett for his draft price. And and I still think, so to me, when They're I look at Tyler Lockett. drafted back to back, by the way. Lockett and Metcalf? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have no hesitations, no doubts. I You know, sometimes you've got to take and you feel like, well, I, I totally recognize that the opposite could happen. I would be shocked if Metcalf is the wide receiver one for this team. Now, if it if it's on the back of more touchdowns, but he has far less targets and at the end of the year, sure. But Tyler Lockett's ceiling is higher than what we've seen. We talked about, you know, let Russ cook. If the passing volume goes up, Tyler Lockett could be dominant for fantasy. You look at his last 180 targets, it's basically what, you know, it's 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 better than Julio's. It's better than uh, you know, it's it's what Michael Thomas has been doing. He is a great wide receiver for a great quarterback. If they throw the ball more, I think he's a safe baseline, still with upside that people just don't see. The the troubling part, I'm looking at the uh, Tyler Lockett DK Metcalf experience from week uh, from the bye on last year. It's not pretty. Not many weeks that you wanted to play them. I mean, there was well, one. You, that's because you had the Russell Wilson. Disappearing after. did for fantasy yep. he disappeared yes. yeah yeah and I guess it's a little bit scary and maybe that's why their draft you know everybody respects Russell Wilson yet his top two receivers are in the fifth round right that's probably that correlation mm-hmm. thank you so much for watching that video it would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos so click subscribe ring that bell and make your life a little better today.